Everybody, and good Friday evening to you. Let's take a deep dive into the uh, weather for the upcoming weekend and into next week. I know some are going to be curious about the snow potential for next week. I, at this point, I don't think it'll be anything that's going to be all that super impactful. Um, but I think a lot of us are indeed going to see our first snowflakes of the season next week. In the meantime, we are in a cloud season as we go into November and especially into the second half of November, as evidenced by the last couple of days. It was a gloom fest out there today. Historically speaking, there's a big jump in the percentage of cloudiness from October to November. And from November through late March, Northeast Ohio and Western PA, that's one of the cloudiest parts of the entire country, thanks to our proximity to the uh, Great Lakes. This year, October was actually quite a bit sunnier than usual, but November through the first half of the month has been cloudier than the average, at least at midday. We look at these uh, observations at noon to make this uh, comparison and make make those uh, statistics uh, but certainly you know at different times of the day it, it can be a little bit different but we have to pick one time of the day to make that uh, graphic so we're going to pick noon in the meantime yeah it's a damp evening out there this has been the scene all day today a lot of low hanging stratus clouds and stratocumulus clouds and occasionally there's been some light rain and some drizzle such as as of uh, about 7 13 p.m here in the, uh, the banner said Niles, but that's actually in the Boardman area. All right, let's uh, look at the radar as of 713. And, you know, this is unimpressive looking, but this is what you're going to get uh, with a dri drizzle regime like this. And actually, looking off to the north, there's more drizzle and light rain pushing in from Lake Erie. So I think it's going to be well into the evening before we can finally completely shake these raindrops across our area. Now, the clouds, you know, they're going to be tough to, to break. I'm becoming more and more pessimistic about our Saturday forecast in terms of the cloud cover, at least through midday. This uh, deck of clouds going nowhere tonight and into Saturday morning. I am somewhat optimistic, though, that uh, we will try to see some breaks of clouds before Saturday afternoon is through, but it may take some time. Here's one model depiction of the uh, thinning cloud deck by midday on Saturday. Some holes in the clouds, perhaps, by midday, and then taking us into the afternoon as well, including for the Penguins... Uh, grand finale of the 2024 season at the Ice Castle taking on Northern Iowa. It's a noon kickoff, and this is pretty much par for the course here in mid-November. We're talking middle and upper 40s to around 50 degrees. I think the drizzle that we've had today will be long gone by our Saturday afternoon. This is a weak bubble of high pressure building in, but it'll be just enough to try to scour out those clouds in the afternoon hours, leaving us with a partly cloudy sky for Saturday night. And then we'll have one of those days on Sunday where there's going to be a lot of high cirrus clouds streaming overhead, making for kind of a, a milky sky, filtered sun trying to work through that relatively thin, tenuous cloud deck. Uh, we'll make for a better afternoon on Sunday. We'll get into the mid-50s. Now, this uh, front is a real weak one that comes in Sunday night. Might produce a shower or two. But I think Monday morning, as this front continues diving to the south, we'll get into a little slice of nice here uh, Monday afternoon, and it should be a, a fine start to next week, but it may not... Uh, last all that long because the pattern is going to start evolving. Now as we head towards the middle portions of the week, low pressure is going to dumbbell down out of the uh, Midwest and then just set up shop right overhead at the end of next week. And with this kind of a weather map in the second half of November, yeah, no surprise we're going to be talking about air that's cold enough to uh, probably produce some snowflakes. That's uh, the way it looked in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Let's head back down to the surface. This is one model depiction of uh, starting Tuesday and taking us through Wednesday and into Thursday. Low pressure just sort of spinning around the Great Lakes and yeah that's blue and while this is no doubt uh, gonna be wrong as far as its exact uh, depiction of events, yeah at some point Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday night into Friday at some point there's gonna be some snowflakes trying to fly around. I I'd be real skeptical that this is going to be anything all that impactful because I think we're going to have a hard time dropping below freezing even at night uh, with the clouds and the gusty winds uh, with this system. So at this point, you know, again, I'm not real, uh, you know, I'm not getting really ambitious with my forecast as far as any impacts from the uh, snow, but it'll be mood snow for sure. A lot of people will be, you know, heading out for lunch, leaving the office, leaving work, uh, doing other things late next week, and they're going to see the snow and it's going to be a topic of conversation. And, you know, late uh, November, second half of November, that is no big surprise at all. All right, long range ideas here. Once the cold air settles in at the end of next week, I think it's generally here for a while. Now, does it look harshly cold? No, we've had much worse cold air outbreaks in late November than this. But I do think the week of Thanksgiving will be seasonably chilly at best, 
maybe a little below average at worst. I, I do see signs on the modeling, and that's reflected in today's week three and four outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. I see signs that early December can feature a modest turnaround. Now, there is some model disagreement. There is some model evidence to this for this idea that it gets warmer compared to the average in early December. Uh, there, there are some models that, uh, you know, try to paint more of a, a trophy look across the eastern U.S., keeping the colder air, trying to, uh, you know, keep it locked in. Uh, so the confidence on the early December forecast at this point, I would say, is lower than the average. But with today's three day, uh, weeks three and four outlook, I should say, from the Climate Prediction Center, they at least are fairly optimistic. It'll be milder than average in early December. And I don't have a strong argument against that at this point. Although, again, my confidence is not real high on that as well. In the meantime, thanks for watching on this Friday evening. As always, have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you back here on Monday for the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video.